that explosion wasn't a depth charge or a mine, and it wasn't any part of any naval or military exercise. It's the beginning of a new kind of treasure hunt miles out here in the North Sea. And what they're looking for is nothing so conventional as Spanish doubloons or a treasure chest. It's something much more valuable in this day and age. They're looking for oil. This is oil prospecting with a different, different, different. So you may have heard about seismic waves, and it looks something like this. There are two groups of waves. Body waves, which travel through the interior of the Earth. And surface waves, which move relatively slowly and only travel along the Earth's surface. There are two kinds of body waves. P waves or primary waves, followed by S waves or secondary waves, which travel more slowly. Seismic waves are also used to determine the elastic properties of rocks. We started off by measuring the diameters of each rock samples using vernier calipers. But first, the vernier calipers were calibrated to avoid error. After that, we used the vernier calipers to measure the length of each rock sample. We measured the weight of each rock sample using the weighing scale in the lab. It is also important to note that the weighing scale must be calibrated and set to zero before you start weighing. You can also determine the density of each sample from the measurements that you have required. The next step is to set up the Oyo Sonic Viewer. Start by calibrating the transducer by placing one against the other. Once the software opens, press F1 delay then wait until monitoring appears, then press start, then wait until stacking 1 until 5, then press cancel. So once the 5 stacking, this one remove, we click cancel. After calibrating, put the specimen on the transducer, press setting, F2 tab, arrange the data, length, density. And for secondary waves, turn the wave option to S. Weight is positioned on top of the transducer. Press Measure, F3 tab, press OK, Enter, and start collecting data. Wait until data stacking 1 till 5, and then press Cancel. Use the cursor keyboard to pick the first break and then enter to save the data. Jot down the ID number. Repeat these steps for the other rock specimens. For primary waves, be sure to change the transducer to P wave transducers. Then, spread Vaseline to the base of the transducer and do the same procedure to the upper and lower side of the specimen. This only allows P waves to pass through. Put the specimen on the transducer, press setting, F2 tab, arrange the data, length, density, and remember to turn the wave option to P wave. Repeat the steps as mentioned earlier and you're good to go. Press display F5 to print your data. Key in 
your ID number for your P and S wave velocity. Then you book your your lab session with uh, Abang Din. That guy, the guy, here, and some guy. So handsome guy. Yeah. Are you referring to me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, both. Schedule, schedule.